24 minutes in the books at the queue in Cleveland, where Kevin Durant leads everybody with 16. Oh. A double-digit Oklahoma City lead evaporated by an 18 to nothing run by Cleveland, and then Oklahoma City finishes 7 nothing in the first half. They're up 47-46. American Express halftime report. Ernie Johnson, Charles Barkley, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, the American Express halftime report highlights come from Shaquille O'Neal as he looks at, uh, what are you looking, talking about the others for the, uh, for the Cavs? Yeah, I'm talking about the others, but I want to ask my, my partners a question. Can Cleveland win doing this? Roll the tape. You know, difference between the best team in the league right now, Golden State, they don't have something. They move the ball right here. One second, two second, three. Oh, get them. Street move. It went in. My question to you, Kenny and Chuck, can they win like this? Right here, LeBron makes the right play. Can they win with this guy shooting threes from the top of the key, Jefferson? And right here, Della Dovey's out to play. He's out to play. Boom, boom. Do, do the Cleveland others have enough? So my question to you guys, can they win doing that? Especially with JR holding the ball, dancing between his legs taking fadeaways. Can they win like that? Well, the good thing about it, they don't have to count on JR for a lot. We won't really be able to judge this team until they get Kyrie back. That's when they're going to be in full bloom. Listen, you, the Golden State Warriors, the San Antonio Spurs, they always make the extra pass. They never dribble, 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 shoot, make tough shots. Uh, so those are the, the standard bearers in the league, the Spurs and the Golden State Warriors. I don't think you can play one-on-one -on -one basketball and win. Uh, you, you're you're going to be successful during the regular season. But when you get against the elite teams, the coaches are going to have a great game plan. So, But it's unfair for me right now to say about the Cavaliers. I think they're clearly the best team in the East. I'm looking forward to seeing them when Kyrie comes back. Uh, but you can't play some – JR, you know, people say he's a streak shooter. That's why he's a streak shooter. You can't survive making those shots that he just took right there. 18 to nothing run by the Cavaliers in the second quarter of this game to take the lead, but they trail 47-46 to Oklahoma City. What you got on the Thunder? Well, I, I think the one thing that we, we talk about, can they survive? So I'll go and see if they can survive. Oh, I thought Chuck was running or something. Hey, Chuck is close. I thought, I thought he was running, but I, I just want to see if they can survive on this as well. The one thing that, that they have an advantage, obviously, when Westbrook and or Durant have the basketball. And so they, they don't really have a post-up player. So what happens is you freeze it here. Russell Westbrook says, we don't have a guy who I post up. So I'll be the post up. But in this position, can they win by he being the only post-up guy? Also, continue the theme, freeze it again. Is he going to make the right decision when he is down there? That's going to separate them from winning championships or being second-round elimination or first round. But his ability to get in the lane and overpower Deladova or anyone else is against everyone else is, is, is too much. Again, freeze it. The ball has touched no one's hands. And all of a sudden now, Kevin Durant, can they win him just coming down off pick and roll? He's talented enough to make these kind of shots and get into the area of the floor. But can you win doing that because no one touches the basketball? And when those two guys realize that their advantage isn't always to score, then that's when I think, Shaq, they will make that next step as well. Well, you, you answered the question from Shaq. Answer the question from Kenny. Can you win like that? You cannot win like that. They've proven that. They're going to win a lot of games during the regular season. Ernie, as a guy who was a great player in Philadelphia, <laughs> in Philadelphia, we didn't have good teams. It was so hard to go out there and get 30 points a night. It was like every game was like the ultimate thing. And when I got to Phoenix, and I got Dan Marley, Kevin Johnson, says about those guys. I got the easiest 25 points in the world. And they don't utilize their weapons. They don't use Ibaka enough. They don't use Adams enough. They don't use Counter enough. They don't use McGarry. You, as a, as a guy, you, the better players you play with. Why, without they, question. They, like, LeBron James was the best basketball player in the world for five to seven years. When he got to uh, Miami and he got Dwayne Wade, you see, they went to the finals four years in a row. When you're a great player, man, you want to play with talent. I, I, it, hey, I averaged 18 points a game in Sacramento yeah. one year. After the games, you can find me in a comatose because <laughs> I had to work so hard for those 18. I averaged 15 in Houston. I was partying after that because it was so easy playing with the dream. One, one point game, 47-46. We'll be back.
Welcome to the American Express Halftime Report, brought to you by the Premier Rewards Gold Card from American Express. Hey guys, to me if Harrison could sign it. Of course we will, and uh, Dennis Rodman, how did he get it? <laughs> Oh, Shaq uh, Baca. That's a good one. Shaq Baca. Uh, Shaq, you're going to be seeing the movie? The Star Wars movie? I already saw it, Ernie. Already saw it? I know people, Ernie. <laughs> you got, Ernie, you got to see Star Wars. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. We welcome you back. Uh, crazy end uh, in Charlotte. Hornets led by as many as 16. DeMar DeRozan at the buzzer, but time had already been called. You wave it off. They've gone to overtime, tied at 90. The Raptors have just taken their first lead, and now Charlotte has it back. You've been watching the American Express Halftime Report. Brought to you by American Express, official card of the NBA.